Hello guys, I'm back with another video. This is the RC Media build for Kodi 18. This is for those that's running Kodi 18 on their devices. Alright, so let me jump right into it and show you guys this build. Here we have movies, TV shows, streams, Latino, sports, kids, news, your apps, favorites, weather, system, and metallic. Alright, of course, Metallics takes you to the Metallic add-on. Let's go into Movies. Uh, let's just go into Popular. And you can also add movies and TV shows from here to your library. You just hit the Context button and then you scan Item to Library. Alright, you could do the same thing with the TV shows. Let's go to On the Air. Alright, let's um add I don't know Scorpion. Hit your context button or long press button for this menu to pop up and your scan item to library. Alright, so you want to give it a couple of seconds for it to, to add it to the TV show section. Alright, now in the sub menu, here you have your movie library. As you can see, we've added Beauty and the Beast, and you can play it straight from here. Alright, I usually use Elysium to play it, or Bob. Poseidon still works for me. Yeah, I left the add-on Poseidon in here because it comes up on the metallic, you know, it comes up on the metallic add-on. Not all add-ons work with it, so I decided to leave it in here for now. Alright, so here you have your links. You still have your 1080p links. It's your 720. Alright, let me try... I'm not going to try a direct link. Let me try the second one. Oh, I guess it went to the third or fourth one. Nice. Right, she's in 1080. All right. So the more movies you add, your favorite movies, it'll be in there. Same thing with the TV show library. As you see, I've added um, Scorpion, and it's right in there. All right here, we have our action-adventure movies. Just click on anyone. She sees in 1080.
Alright, let me try one more. I'm going to just scroll down real fast and just click on this one. <clears throat> All right. Back up out of there. So we have comedy and romance, crime and thriller, sci-fi, horror, family and animation, and western and war. Here we have our movie section. For the widget, you have popular movies. And it's pulling from the Neptune Rising add-on. Alright, let me just back up out of there. And here you have your links. Alright. Clicking on movies itself. It also takes you to the Neptune Rising. And as you know, the Neptune add-on has like, you could say like two sections. It has what the fork in it. <clears throat> so I've decided to add it on the bottom right here So you get more choices on the Neptune add-on All right, here you have grab bag deluxe Elysium Myriad Star Tech Survivor and Extreme here We have our TV shows and here we have our popular TV shows Alright, the TV shows, when you click on TV shows itself, it takes you to um, the Neptune TV show section. You also have Neptune down here, Elysium, Myriad, Star Trek, Survivor. Alright, here we have our streams. There's um, a few more channels that's been added to this add-on. Let me stop it. Let's go to Bravo. Alright, let me stop it. Alright, so you have 325 channels in here. In the submenu, you have all streams Made in Canada, Survivor, TV One, Supremacy, IPTV. Alright, here you have your Latino section. Uh, let me just click on a movie. Let me try the first link. Now, I did notice that some of the movies, I guess they placeholders. The movie's not in there yet. Let me see if I could find one so I could show you. I don't know. Let me see this one. As you can see, it only has a trailer and it. it doesn't have a link to play the movie. So, some of the movies doesn't have a link yet to it. When you click on Latino, it takes you to the fusion.org add-on. So you have all your different channels here. I mean your different section. Let's go to Premium VTech. And this is all Spanish channels. Let 
guess that one's down for the moment. The second one worked. I guess I was moving too fast. Let's um, go to HBO. So they're all Spanish channels. All right. Here we have um, Fusion, um, R Fusion Rex. I, I guess that's how you call it. Here you have your Spanish movies and your Spanish TV shows. Uh, um, and I'm click on the first one. And I'll click on this one. I don't even know what it's what it's saying. I can't read Spanish. I guess that one didn't work. All right, here we have some link. Let me try the 720. All right. Let's back up out of there. Here we have our sports section. All right, so here you have your ESPN channels. Repair that resulted in removal of the hernia mesh. You on select models during Hyundai holidays. Save up the. All right, let's go to ESPN two. Dwayne Jerry's like, I'm gonna get you the ball. Can you make a play? And Dwayne said, I'll make. All right, let's go to NBA TV. Sunday on NBA. All right. I'm just breezing through this, guys. I don't want to take too long. All right, in the submenu, you have Fox Sports. Let's go to Today. If there's a game playing, you could just click on it. The ones in greens are those that are playing right now. <laughs> This started at 2 a.m. This is on commercial. All right. Here you have um, NBC Sports. Let's go to live and upcoming. I was watching the Olympics. And um, this one didn't come on yet. As you can see, it has the time on it. So let's go back to watch the Olympic channel. Just want to give it a couple of seconds for it to come up. Also on commercial. The coffee inside the cake. All right. Here's your sports hub. And this is from the NetStream Sports Hub. Let me see if there's any, if it's in raw, there's no games on. And you choose your link. Guess the first link didn't work for me. I'm going to choose the second one. The second one worked, but I backed out to it. I backed out of it too fast. But um, they work. I was kind of skeptical with this add-on because I, I never was getting no links to play. It was always in red. So, um, yeah, but the links work. Here we have Pac-12 Network. 
Hey guys, sports. Also have all your sports channels there. It's the same as clicking on the sports on the menu bar. Here you have Rising Tides and TV One Sports. Right here you have your kids section. In the widget, you have some kids movies on here. Let's click on um, Alice in Wonderland. All right, Aladdin. Keep going straight down. Click on another one. I don't know. This one of these Barbie movies. Oops. All right. Here we have your news. So we have your news channels here. We have different types of news channels. CNBC, CNN. All right, so you also have local for the um, New York channels in here, Connecticut, Long Island, New Jersey, Brooklyn. You have all types of news channels in here. You also have music channels in here. Clicking on news takes you to the news on. Here's your newscast. You can pick your state. And you go, um, the way this work is, you have to wait for the time that the news, the news actually comes on it. Let me show you what I mean. Just give it a couple of seconds for it to come on. Basically, the way it works is, as you can see, the news comes on at 4.30 a.m., noon, 4 to 6.30 p.m., and again at 11 p.m. All right? Let me stop it. Back up out of there. So you have your different states on here for news. You also have your video clips on there. Here's your apps. It takes you to all your video add-ons, your music add-ons, picture add-ons, program add-ons, and such. All right. You also have the shortcut down here for music add-ons, video add-ons, your add-on browser, which takes you to the install from zip file section and install from repository program add-ons and your picture add-ons here's your favorites folder if you add something in your favorites it'll be in there and here's your weather all right so your, all your weather information when you slide to the left you could go to settings slide to the right and then go to settings again and then click on location one to change it Alright, and once you've changed it, you just hit OK. You slide to the right and hit OK. Then back out of it and it'll be changed. Alright. And here's your system section in the submenu, skin settings, file manager, your maintenance, and um the Steven TV wizard. Alright, let's go into file manager. You'll go to add source. In fact, let me start from a uh, clear, um, clear copy of Cody. A f I mean, a fresh um, copy of Cody. So I'm going uh, to clear my data on Cody. This just wipes my whole Cody clean there's nothing on there nothing installed 
All right, as you can see, it's, it's on um, zero, no data in there. All right, so let me show you how to install the build. You would go to settings, file manager, and add source. Click on none. Go to http colon false up colon forward slash forward slash Stephen TV Wizard dot X Y Z forward slash wizard. The link will also be in the description down below. All right, and once you've typed it in, you hit OK. You can name it whatever you want to. I leave it as wizard, and then hit OK. I like to double check to make sure I typed in the link correctly. I see an item in there, so I typed it in correct, um, correctly. And now you'll go to add-ons. Go to the op open package right here. And then install from zip file. If you get this pop-up, you just go to settings. Unknown sources. And then click yes. And then back out and then go back to install from zip file. Go to wizard, plug in program Steven TV wizard and install it. All right, so once it's installed, you could check any one of these if you wish. But um, I usually check out my cache, my package and um, old thumbnails on startup. Cause I use the Indigo add-on for maintenance and it only deletes my cache and my packages I just leave my thumbnails alone on startup because I don't want no lag when starting my Kodi up where it always have to download thumbnails again alright so you know if you want to keep your repositories when you're you know installing going from build to different build if you want to try different builds that's in this wizard Alright, but anyway, you click continue and go to build menu. And the build we're looking for is the RT Media build for Cody 18. Alright, you click on that. I'm already on a fresh copy of Cody, so I'm going to just go to in standard install. Or if you're on a build already and you want to try this, you could go to fresh install. All right, but since I'm on a clean copy, I'm gonna go on standard install. Then I'm slide over yes install. All right, the download size of this build is 360 megabytes. So um, not sure how it's gonna run on a Fire Stick. Or the Fire TV. All right, it's almost finished downloading. Now it's extracting the file and with the files extracted it comes out to 471 megabytes. Like I said, I don't know how it's gonna be on a fire stick.
And also, guys, just to tell you, for those that's running Cody 18, I'm on the latest nightly. Yeah, I'm on the um, latest nightly build, so it's working good on the latest nightly. All right, it says, would you like to foreclose Cody? I foreclose it. And I go back into Cody. Now you want to give it a moment for it to settle down. Let it collect everything it needs to be collected. This is a, it's a fresh install, so all the thumbnails and all the you know links or whatever it's doing in the background it has to populate so you want to give it a chance to settle in I should see the metallic add-on had an update, but it says temp name. Now, if you're on any other build or if you're on Cody 18, I haven't experienced that on Cody 17. But um, if you're on a different build and you're on Cody 18, you would want to go to, no, not this, your add-on browser. Where it says available updates. You want to update the metallic add-on because it only did a temp temp name. Let me show you. Recently updated. Temp name. It didn't really update. So what you want to do is you go to available updates and just hit update all. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this build. And um, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And keep an eye out for new builds and new updates to the builds. And I'll talk to you guys soon.